Hi guys and welcome to Tech to Newbie. This video is a follow-up from the review I did of this PC on Monday. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a card up above for you. But let's jump into it. So this video is all about the thing that you've been asking for and the thing that AMD has been asking for for the last few months since Ryzen has been out. This is going to be a comparison between Ryzen 7 1700 and an Intel 7700K when it comes to playing games and streaming. Now this isn't going to be a fully comprehensive test as I'm only testing the currently third most popular game on, uh, you know, Twitch right now, which is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. This is also in uh, you know early access alpha, so it's also a little bit unreliable. But nonetheless, the systems are almost identical in spec. So besides the CPUs, we've still got 16 gigs of RAM. Both got GTX 1080s, and overall uh, also SSD boot drives with the game on the hard drive. So should be an interesting comparison. When it comes to testing methodology, we're pushing the limit here, running 60 FPS at 1080p at six megabits per second. This is the maximum that Twitch really recommends for you. So this should be uh, very interesting to see. We're going to be looking both at the Twitch analyzer, which will show you the actual stream quality, the bit rate, and all that sort of stuff, as well as also benchmarking before streaming and during streaming, both on AMD and Intel, to get a uh, sort of performance difference number two. I should also mention that I'm running five minute or 300 second benchmarks, both uh, for streaming and not streaming Intel and AMD, and I ran multiple benchmarks both per game because of obviously the different conditions being in buildings or out, uh, you know, shooting people and all that sort of stuff uh, and it also ran multiple games for uh, multiple tests as well so hopefully this is some uh, validatable results and hopefully we can get some uh, decent insights on the performance differences that it actually gives. So when it comes to results this may not actually be too much of a surprise to you. Currently, obviously, with the optimization and especially lack thereof in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, the overall FPS average for the Intel system while not streaming was 88 FPS. Whereas the AMD system, again, very identical spec, that one was 52 FPS, so a considerable FPS difference there. When it comes to the minimums, the AMD system was running about 34, 35, whereas the Intel system was running about 58, and the maximums, again, average of 81, with uh, uh, the Intel side average of 119. So again, uh, the Intel side is overall, especially while not streaming, uh, a decent bit more effective than the Ryzen system. When it comes to streaming, though, this is where it gets interesting. Interesting. So uh, I'm mostly going to quote the performance differences and the percentage difference here as that's a lot easier to understand. So the AMD system had an average of 4.2 FPS less while streaming which equates to about a 7% performance loss. The Intel system, however, had a, uh, round, if you round it up, 12.6 uh, FPS loss, which is a 14% performance difference. When it comes to maximums, though, this is a very interesting point. Minimums are kind of the most interesting, but we'll stick with maximums now. For the AMD system, we had a 7.7 .7 FPS loss, which equates to about 9.5% difference. When it comes to the Intel system, however, we had a 21 or 20.9% uh, uh, FPS loss, which equates to a 17.6% performance loss. That's kind of crazy considering that the Ryzen system had, if, if you round them up to whole integers, then you have a 10% performance loss with Ryzen, whereas you have a, a seven, or actually an 18% performance loss, which is actually double when it comes to Intel. The minimums though are when it gets pretty insane. So if you're looking at uh, the AMD system, we had just a 1.7 FPS difference here on average, which equates to about a 5% performance difference. When you look at the Intel system, however, which again, bear in mind that the minimums are often quoted as the most important number here, as that's when it drops down and you really feel the lag. Uh, so this one, uh, the main, the, the performance difference here was 22 FPS, which equates to a 38 percent performance uh, drop when you're streaming. Now, if you're looking at the data and you see that seven in there and that just doesn't look right and you know, maybe that's just a random outlier, something happened, you know, even if you discount that seven, you still have a 20% performance drop. That is literally four times AMD's numbers if you do exclude the lowest, you know, the outlier in this data. So again, if you don't exclude it, it's a you know nearly 40% performance drop, which is kind of insane. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at the stream quality as well. So a quick look at AMD's graph, and you can see that it held 60 FPS the entire time with no frame drops. We're having a little bit of a bounciness in terms of the bit rate, although that looks to be fairly expected, and it peaked around about 6,000 
4,500 and I think dropped to about 5,500-ish. So uh, on average, it's just shy of 6,000, which is what the, the bit rate we set was. Once again, with the Intel system, it's where it gets interesting. So uh, I did actually four streamed games uh, using the Intel system to get my benchmark numbers. And uh, this is, again, where it gets very interesting. So both times that I streamed, because I actually did two separate streams, the first match that I played uh, streamed perfectly fine, and the bitrate was very similar to AMD's bitrate. Jumps around a bit, but if you take that specific set of data, it averages out just shy of about 6,000. So uh, you're not going to be having too much of an issue there. But... The key thing is that big flat line is where the stream crashes. This happened both times that I streamed. This is a very strange thing. I'm not sure what the issue is as this was not an issue with the Ryzen system that I tested first. Uh, this is basically when I finished the first match and clicked exit to lobby, the uh, screen would freeze on exit to lobby and the bitrate would lock stable uh, and that would just be it for the rest of the stream. And because I was only using one monitor on the test PC or this PC, uh, then I didn't know that that was happening and couldn't try and correct it in any way. This does seem to only be a bug on this system. As I said, I did try streaming twice. Uh, I tried resetting in between streams as well, just to make sure. Also tried, uh, obviously, shutting uh, you know uh, player unknowns battlegrounds down. Also shut down OBS and restarted it. Also tried different uh, different settings for game capture in OBS. So I'm really not sure what the issue is here, but. Uh, this is something that I have noticed and if you have a 7700K or even a 7600K and you have this issue then please do let me know in the comments down below and especially if there are any fixes for it. So what conclusions can be drawn? Well this one is again a little bit complicated. If you're looking for the best chip in terms of the performance difference then AMD is hands down the victor here. It's also more reliable at least in my testing anyway in this one game in these uh, you know specific set of scenarios. Um, and obviously, uh, if you do stream, by the way, let me know in the comments down below what you think, what uh, processor you have and that sort of stuff. I would be very interested to hear. And of course, uh, if in terms of value for money, again, especially if you're considering the editing you may do on the stream afterwards, then uh, generally speaking, the Ryzen processor is still the better value for money and still the better pick. If, however, you don't mind those uh, minimums being considerably lower in some cases, and overall the FPS being considerably higher, especially when not streaming, then the Intel chip maybe a little bit of a better uh, you know choice to go for here of course again if you are considering the editing afterwards though i've recently switched to a ryzen 7 1700x myself from a 6700k and personally seen a considerable performance improvement so that is also pretty impressive uh, and just something to, to bear in mind if that is the, the alley you want to go down. So if you want to know more about this PC, then feel free to take a look at the review in the uh, description down below, the cards, and also I'll leave uh, you know the, the end cards for you to check out. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of video. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, then do let me know in the comments down below and what topics I should cover. If you want to support me, please do share this video. It helps massively. And also please do take a look at the Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links they genuinely do support me they keep uh, paying my rent and all that sort of stuff so if you could do that that would be fantastic and I can keep making these videos every Monday Wednesday Friday and uh, actually sometimes Saturday now as well so please do that if you can and otherwise as I said I'll leave some links over here for you subscribe button somewhere over this side and of course down below as well and otherwise uh, yeah thank you for watching let me know what you thought of it uh, also let me know if you'd rather the Intel or the AMD system and why in the comments down below but otherwise we'll see you all in the next video